The P-Series is a dual chamber design, meaning that the adjustment mechanism, the spring and adjustment wheel, are located in the chamber below, isolated from the electrical. This is the adjustment. The electrical is located in the top of the switch in the explosion-proof housing. You would remove the cover and connect the micro switch in the same manner as we've done with the other switches. We would wire the white wire to the common terminal, which is at the bottom, the blue wire to the normally open contact, which is the center terminal, and then the red wire to the normally closed contact, the top terminal. The first step of calibration is to exercise the switch to make sure it is operating correctly. To exercise a switch, start from zero PSI and increase to full range of the switch. In this case, 100 PSI and then return back to zero. This should be done three times. So the first step is to take the switch from zero up to the 80 PSI target and leave it there. So we'll bring the pressure up. To 80 PSI and lock it off. Now we are going to increase the set point of the switch because it's already turned on until it turns off and then lower it back until it turns on again and that we will set at 80 PSI increasing. So we will start by putting a screwdriver into the slots onto the adjustment disc and turning it in a clockwise direction to increase the set point of the switch. We are going to do this all the way until the switch resets. Now the switch just reset. So that means my set point is above the desired set point of 80 and I'm going to turn back counterclockwise until the switch turns on. Again, going slowly until it just turns on. Now we are set at approximately 80. To verify this, we're gonna lower the pressure to zero and then bring it up and see where the switch exactly turns on. So we go back to 80 PSI and it's set just a little bit above 80. So what we're going to do is drop it down to zero, bring it back up to 80 and make a very slight adjustment to the switch. Remembering it's important to always go back to zero for consistency in the way you set the switch. Bring it back up to 80, lock it off, and make the final last small adjustment. Now we'll lower it down and measure the set point. We should be set closer to 80 now. I'll bring it back up 
measure the exact set point. We should be very close to 80 now. And we are. We'll take it back and measure the dead band. It's approximately 5 PSI. So we set it 75. Now we would measure the switch three times for consistency. Now we're going to set the same P-series switch with a decreasing set point. We're going to select a set point of 20 PSI decreasing. So to start with, what we will do is take the switch to full range, 100 pounds, and then bring it back down to the desired set point at 20. As you know, it was set at the high end, so it will be set near 80 pounds. And we're going to bring it back down just before 20, and then bring it right down and set it right on 20 pounds. With that, we are going to turn the adjustment wheel counterclockwise, and that will lower the set point of the switch. We will turn it all the way down until the switch turns on at 20, and then we will turn it back clockwise until it turns off. And that will be the reset at 20. So we're turning it counterclockwise to lower the set point. Now we just turn back on. Now we're going to go clockwise until it turns off. And that is the point we're looking for, the reset point of the switch, a decreasing set point. Now we're set at approximately 20 PSI decreasing. Now we have to go back to zero and go back up to 100 and see if we're set exactly at 20. If we're not, we will adjust again. Go up to 100, and then we'll come back down to just above 20, and then we'll measure the set point. And it's very good, just about 20. So now we will increase the pressure to the point that it turns on again, and that will be our dead band. Our dead band's approximately three. So now we would repeat this process to verify that we have set the switch correctly. So repeating the process, we would drop it to zero. We would raise it to 100. Lower it to just before 20. And it reset. Now we'll raise it back up. We'll measure the point at which it turns back to green. And that's our dead band, just approximately three. Now we'll drop it to zero and repeat the process. It is normal to repeat set point measurements three times to verify repeatability. For set points on vacuum range switches, it is best to think of the set point as a negative pressure. So an increasing vacuum set point is a decreasing pressure set point and a decreasing vacuum set point is an increasing pressure set point.